Hello there guys, welcome back to Reborn with Michael Watson. Um, this week I've been on daddy duties for a couple of days. That's my little sweetheart there. <laughs> He's such a beauty. But um, I've got about 20 minutes here and I wanted to make a quick video today. Um, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about how we heal from the quantum field. Doc, excuse me, I'm not in the office today so it might be a bit shaky. Dr. Joe Dispenza explains about the quantum field a lot, doesn't he? He says, you know, he says the mind, thoughts, make an electrical charge in the quantum field and the heart has a magnetic pull in the quantum field. So when the thoughts and feelings align and they both become coherent, the subconscious and conscious mind align, everything aligns, you start to draw from the quantum field. So talking about this, healing from the quantum, it's something that's not a new idea. It's just been explained in a different way, but I want to try and break down it in a simple way. Think about it like this. Think about everything that we have has a energetic, it's just energy, you know? So my thoughts are an energy. The quantum field is all the potential that ever can and ever will be. So often it's stated your healing is already done. It already exists. As soon as you desire it, it's already fixed. And I love this because desire is a divine expression. I want you to know that your desire to be healed immediately creates the potential of it in the quantum field. So the fact that you want to be um, healed and you desire it, it means it already exists as a, as a possibility, as a potential. So if all potentials <coughs> already exist in the quantum field, by changing the way we think and feel, we actually draw out that potential out of the infinite potentials. You see, and so when you're feeling frustrated, dissatisfied, angry, upset, you know, all of these lower feelings, you're drawing out the same response from the quantum field every time. So to do something different, to change your body, change your life, you need to literally change yourself first. And so to get an effect from the quantum field, you need to become someone different. So your thoughts and feelings need to become different. So if you're constantly checking in and frustrated at your current situation, you're not going to get any um, anything attracted to you. You see, the other week I noticed that there was something not aligning in my experience. And it was making me feel nervous and worried. And so the whole week, instead of taking loads of action, I just decided to sit back and just work with my feelings. You know, you see, I don't want any of you out there to take any action until you are in that place of ease and flow. You see, the quantum field that Dr. Joe talks about is the divine, really. It's God. It flows through everything. It's, every, it's all that is and all that ever will be. You know? And so the truth is is that everything that you've ever wanted, including your health, is already done. It's already existing. So Dr. Joe Dispenza talks about collapsing space and time on itself to bring a, your desire quicker it's just it's just saying well your desire is already done but to come to the physical realization of that desire you must start to live as if it's already done so just i, I this is the hard part though for, for some because there's a lot of information that's coming to you that says it's not done so it's hard not to respond to that but the truth is you need to find a faith now dr joe dispenza's trying to bring faith through science because that's where people people respect that dogma more than they respect the spirituality now but the truth is is the the one who is childlike in their innocence and childlike in their 
what can I say, in their view of life, is the one who wins. Jesus used to say it a lot in the Bible. He says, be as the children. And I will find that video, I will find that story. But the, the, people, were, the people were stopping the children coming to Jesus and he said, no, let them through. We must be like the children. And uh, I can't remember the full quote there, but that's what he's saying. And look, my little man here, he's so present. He's so innocent. He doesn't have any preconceived notions of things. Yes, you know, he may want, to, you know, well, let's not get into massive debate here, but the innocent, childlike, playful intrigue into this. If you could uh, believe in that quantum field, or God, as I like to see it as now, as something that just loves you so much, that wants everything for you, so when you desire something, that's the call from the divine within you that's saying, listen, you deserve more than this. And now all you have to do is accept it. So once you desire it, it's already created. So now by changing your thoughts and feelings to the point of acceptance. So don't think that you've got to be walking around living in pure gratitude every second, pure like this is the most amazing thing ever. I've got to live the, oh, my life's amazing all the time. It's a healthy expectancy and trust in something greater than yourself that's what we're aiming for and so the quantum field is that pure potential energy but it is everything that is and everything that ever will be already create already in an energetic form and all you're doing is is bringing that energetic energy <clears throat> and you're condensing it into matter and you're doing that through the electrical charge of the thoughts and the magnetic charge of your heart thoughts and feelings now remember all it says is what you ask for and believe is already yours you shall have so if you truly sit down work on the feeling of having it already it will literally physicalize your body will respond you will manifest that abundance you will manifest your dreams this is the way of the world and this is what you need to do and i hope you enjoyed the video today please do like share and subscribe it really helps the channel I've also got a 30 day um, healing challenge that I want you guys to check out and also join my free Facebook group, The Healing Circle. I'll see you guys next time.